Question four. This is a very traditional question. You fire the pellet into the block and it pushes the block up. Um, it's a really, really common question. It goes back years and years. So, the speed of an air rifle pellet is measured by firing into a wooden block suspended from a rigid support here. The wooden block can swing freely at the end of a light and extensible string. So there we go, the block moves up to there. The pellet has a mass of 8.8 .8 grams. So that's 8.8 .8 naught times 10 to the minus three kilograms. Um, and strikes the stationary wooden block, it's completely embedded in it. So when it comes to here, there's the pellet. So the mass of this wooden block then is four, five, um, plus this, because the pellet's inside it. So 8.8 .8 times 10 to the minus three kilograms. Determine the speed of the pellet when it strikes the wooden block. Okay, so what we have to do here is two things. We have to deal with momentum and we have to deal with energy. So the height difference will give us the energy between here and here, and we can then work out the speed of this block before it starts to swing up, or just as it's starting to swing up. And then we can use momentum to work out the speed of the pellet in the first place. So we'll work backwards, so um, using energy. So as it strikes, this has got some kinetic energy, it shoots up here, all that kinetic energy is converted into gravitational potential energy. And the height difference there is how much it's got. So um, a half m v, I'm going to call this as it shoots off here, v2, and I'm going to call the pellet speed v1. So a half v2 squared is equal to mg delta h. So what we're doing there is we're using the basic energy equations which are located here. Your kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared and the potential energy for due to gravitation is equal to mg delta h. So I might just write that above. Uh, Ek is equal to Ep um, gain. So the amount of kinetic energy lost is equal to the gain in the kinetic energy. Right, so the masses cancel. Doesn't matter how heavy the block is. And we have v2 squared is equal to 2g delta h. So v2 is equal to the square root of 2 times by, we need g, 9.81. And we need delta h, which is that height there. So that's 0 0.63. Okay. So let's put the calculator into shot there. And we'll do this calculation. So we've got 2 point, I'm oh, sorry, 2 times by, 9.81 times by 0.63, so that's that bit, square root that, and we get V2 is equal to 3.51576 dot dot dot. So we'll save that answer for a moment. Then we, second half of the question, we need to use momentum, so use momentum, conservation, oops, So the momentum of the pellet coming in is got to be equal to the momentum of the block moving off because there's nothing else moving anywhere else. So um, conservation of momentum there. So we've got um, M1, so that's the mass of the pellet, times by V1 must equal M2, that's the mass of the pellet and block times by V2. So V1 is equal to, well, the mass of the pellet and block is 458.8 .8 times 10 to the minus three, divide by the mass of this, which is 8.8 .8 times 10 to the minus three, times by the velocity V2, which we worked out here. So at 3.5, one, five, seven, la -di -da, -di da don't write off the edge in your real exam. So my times 10 to the minus threes cancel, and I just do times by four, five, eight point eight, divided by 8.8. .8. And that gives us 
1,000, oh, sorry, 183.299 dot dot dot. Uh, what have we got? We've got three SF there, but we've only got two SF there. Uh, two or three SF there, we don't know. So um, let's just write it to 2SF, 1802SF, because we're restricted by that one there. The wooden block is replaced by a steel block of the same mass. Same mass. The experiment is repeated with the steel block and identical pellet. The pellet rebounds after striking the block. Okay, so the pellet, instead of coming in and embedding, is now bouncing off. So it starts M1, V1, and it bounces off. Say it goes the same speed, M1, V1, in the opposite direction. So that is, its momentum will be negative there. Um, discuss how the height of the steel block reach compares with the height of 0.63 meters reached by the wooden block. In your answer, compare the energy and momentum changes that occur in the two experiments. Right. So, when it bounces off here, it has a greater change in momentum because it starts with momentum going this way. Instead of ending with pellet, ending with its momentum essentially combined with the block going that way, it rebounds. Um, it will probably rebound at about the same speed, maybe a little bit less, than it went in. So the momentum change is almost double what it is here. So we'll say that to start with. Because the pellet rebounds, momentum change is greater than the uh, sorry, then with the wood. So the momentum change is bigger. Right. If the momentum change is bigger, then that means the gain in momentum of the steel block is bigger than the wood. So the gain in momentum of the steel block is greater than that of the wood. If it has more momentum, but it has the same mass, then that means its velocity is bigger. So it has more momentum, but the same mass. So the velocity is bigger. Okay, if its velocity is bigger, kinetic energy is half mv squared. So, so the kinetic energy is bigger. So if its kinetic energy was bigger here, then it will get to a greater height because it means it will get a higher gravitational potential energy. Um, so it gets more GPE, so it reaches a greater height. Um, and once again, we need the fact that the mass is constant for that to be true, because M is the same. Sorry. So the mass is constant between same mass there and there. So if it's got more energy here, it will get to a bigger height. Discuss which experiment is likely to give more accurate value for the velocity of the pellet. Well, it's going to be the, this one, the one with the wood, because although we can assume that this pellet bounces off with the same velocity it went in, it won't do. Um, it's not going to be perfectly elastic, the collision there. So um, this is the only one we can work out, because we know the velocity of the pellet afterwards. So um, it is the one with the wood that is more accurate because with the steel there is no way to measure 
the rebound speed of the pellet. So we don't know this, so we don't know the momentum change. So we do not know the momentum change. Okay, that's question four. Now, when you go through a question like this, um, my advice to you would be to do it in a nice logical order, step by step, from the beginning of the incident to the end. So, as I went through this, because the pellet rebounds, its momentum change is greater than that of the wood. So, I've done the momentum change. That means that the momentum change of the block is, is bigger. That means it's got more velocity because the mass is the same. That means the kinetic energy is bigger. That means the gravitational potential energy is bigger. That means it goes to a bigger height. So every single step links from the previous step and you work your way through. That's why you get a nice clear answer which covers every single point that could be on the mark scheme. Right, question four.